Do you want to move to a different biome or maybe just a new location that you love or that has easy access to all the POIs? How to move your base with having only one respite point can be confusing. Here's the straightforward scoop on how to move your base efficiently and without losing access to your original base. First, your respite realm has to be an abeyance realm. You can choose whatever biome you want, whatever difficulty you want, but don't bother trying to live in another type of realm or you'll be wasting your time and possibly losing resources. The devs have said that they may eventually add the ability to live in other types, but it's not on their short list. If you want to find an abeyance realm that's more to your liking, you can use the portal to scout different maps. Make a few of the abeyance cards and a few of the biome of your choice. Go to the portal and enter the cards. Now, if you're playing the same type of realm cards as before in this portal, you may think that simply hitting reset portal on the bottom will get you a new realm, but that will send you right back to the last one you visited with those cards. You have to check this little box over here that says reset realm for it to generate a whole new realm with the same type of cards. The devs added this because people wanted the option of going back to the same realm again sometimes. Go through and have a quick look at the map. Does it have the major thing that you're looking for? Maybe the transmuter near the middle of the island? If not, go home and try rolling realms again. If you found a spot for your new base in your current realm, then obviously you skip this step. Of course you want your helper to help you move, especially with the heavy lifting like stone and wood, but this can be a little tricky with how helpers are acting at the moment, and if you don't do a bit of prep, your helper could be working against you. Once you know where you're going, you want to first take basic building supplies on the first trip. The first thing you should do is uncheck any storage they have access to so they aren't putting things away as fast as you take it out. Second, you should go around your base and destroy all campfires or anything that uses wood as a fuel source, such as the smelter or brazier. If not, then as you're giving your friend things to carry, they'll immediately go start and put any kind of wood in the fires. Quick tip, if your fancy golden and carved wood seem to be disappearing, check your fires. Then load yourself up and stand near the heavy stuff. Right before you're going to leave, load up the helper and then leave immediately, maybe run. If not, they could start putting things back in storage. He put it all somewhere again. Where did he put it? Load your helper up right before you're gonna leave maybe. I locked him out of that basket, but got in anyway. If your particular helper is prone to ignoring the check mark about storage they're allowed in, Inflection is very aware of this issue and are working on it, so hopefully soon we won't have to worry about them being such woodchucks. When you get to your new location, put down the cairn. It doesn't have to be where you want it permanently because you can move it as your building plans change, which is super nice. Make sure to remember and hit E to claim this one as your respite point since you can only have one. Now run back to the first base and fill up again, even to the point of being overburdened because now you can hit map and return to respite by quick travel. One of the things I love most about organizing in Nightingale, cause face it, we need a lot of storage and organization for this crafting heavy world, is this feature right here. You'll need to have things in moving boxes, right? If you want to just get everything there first, then you can go ahead and put all your materials in moving box type storage. And when you're ready to organize it, where it will live next, you hit X to edit and R to move. Even with everything still inside it, you don't have to empty boxes to move them around. Remember to like and consider subscribing for more get to the point guides for Nightingale. Happy gaming.